This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time I'm going to be playing with this dumb bullshit Paleo Phantasm Sprout deck again. Uh, I've been playing with this deck, and this is the first time I've ever dropped out of the 1500s since I started playing this deck. In fact, I've only been going up in ranking since I started playing this deck, and I went from close to 1800 down to where I am now, which is literally basically like shit tier. Like, this person is up still lower than where I was when I started playing this deck. Set to my side of the field, Pacifist. Oh my god, Gateway to Chaos, so now he's Imperial Ordered out of his spells. I'm going to activate this. At least this hand is somewhat decent because of the fact that I get to get my shit and everything gets to go at least somewhat smoothly. Um, to a certain degree. And I've got Max C. I bet that Max C is going to be what carries the shit out of me. But anyway, this deck is kind of irritating. Um, because, like, oh my god. <laughs> Let, oh! Oh, no. oh, oh, oh god, I don't want to do that intro again. Okay, I wasn't doing that intro again, so we're literally just going to go play a different game, and we're going to leave that as it was. And that hand was like the only playable hand that I've had thus far. That, that actually makes me even more agitated. Uh, but, so, I can use these. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, I should have activated Fossil Dig first. I am really cloudy. At least my ranking went back up to over 1500. Like, at least that was the case, but now I don't have one of my eight, no, nine pacifists. Um, so that's a, that's a problem. Oh, yes. Uh, but so, let's see. Uh, I want to be able to use my Kanadia to book a moon a monster first. Oh, look! It's a masterpiece! We can't out that card! Look at this! It's got what? Um, it's got a spell of trap under it, like any good player would do! Oh, my! Looky there! It's almost like I just had this conversation with Chimeratech Overdragon in the comment section of my videos like yesterday. God damn it! Um, like he's just gonna do this, it's unaffected by spell and by trap. Because why does it need to be unaffected by monsters, right? Why does it need to? I've got no effect monsters in my deck! <laughs> with this deck he opened shit too look at this bull look at it he literally just set two cards tributed and passed and I'm going to lose to it god god damn it there's no reason for him to do anything other than just pop my monsters and my spell card and I'm just gonna lose oh he's not even negating it wow it's almost like he's a smart player that knows how to play against this deck because the best thing that I can do right now is I can add wave to hand um, and then equip it to my monster and try to attack into his masterpiece, right? But even then, the spiral dragon is smaller than masterpiece and all he has to do is pop my monster. Um, what the fuck is this? Uh, target, equip all appropriate. Oh, fuck! Why? What? This does nothing here either! <laughs> Is the uh, uh uh no he's popping that this dies this gets to give me a fucking counter I guess and then I don't get to yeah let's see what is this thing you can banish the card from your graveyard and target one normal monster you control clip all appropriate phantasm you control to that normal monster yeah see like it's it's is I I I I I I I I I Shimama. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Oh my god. I cannot handle this deck right now. I cannot handle it. <laughs> I can't. I cannot handle this dumb bullshit. There's no reason for me to even be trying to play this deck because it's literally the worst thing. 
It's the worst deck I've ever fucking played. Oh good, yeah, I'm glad we got that one. <laughs> I'm glad we got that one out of the way. <laughs> okay then. Okie dokie, Smokey. Um, the only thing I can hope for is that he uses Masterpiece to pop this. And then I get a token, and then get a search for another card that doesn't matter because I can't affect this with spells or traps. And I have no other way to out the card in my deck. Why? Because of the way this deck works. Oh, shit me. Yes, we'll activate Pacifist. Please, please just kill it. And kill me. Please. You have to, you have to do this. Why that one? <laughs> Why that one? I don't understand. What's going on? You're starting to play like shit. What's going on? No. Yes. Give me the search. What is it? Why is it chaining twice? I don't know what's happening anymore. I don't understand. I'm getting another token. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not how that works. Um. What? And I control no token. It triggered what? It triggered when I summoned the token. That can't be right. But okay, it's whatever. I'll take it. <laughs> whatever. I'll take it. Um. Uh. Let's see. This inflicts piercing damage, right? Uh. That thing has 28. Uh. Still not big enough to do shit. I cannot believe. <laughs> cannot fucking believe. <laughs> Oh my god! Alright. So, he gets to attack with this. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this card and put this face down. I don't understand what's going on anymore, but apparently this can activate multiple times in the same chain. This card's pretty fucking good. This field spell's like broken. But at the same time, this deck's shit. Um, Alright, let's see. Let's try the card. If Yumi is on field, you can activate the card from hand. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna end up doing, right, is that I'm gonna activate this on my next turn, popping this, and then <laughs> I'm gonna activate this to pop this, bring back my Canadia, and then that's gonna trigger a search, and then I'll be able to tribute summon Spiral Radiance Dragon, and then maybe, maybe I'll be able to beat over the Masterpiece, but if my opponent's competent, he's not gonna let me. Um, fuck me. Come on. Come on, man. You you attacked this. What are you gonna do? Pop with masterpiece? If you were gonna pop a masterpiece, you should have popped this pacifist a long fucking time ago, mate. You you should have popped this a long fucking time ago. You're just sitting here letting me get tokens. <laughs> I cannot understand why. I don't understand why for the life of me. No, no, don't you dare. Don't you dare, DC. Don't you fucking dare. I can't out your card. I don't want the rating this way. Yes, there we go. He's back. Oh boy. Oh boy, boy, boy! All right, so, uh, so what we're gonna do here? What? Whoa. Okay. Uh, would I like to do something on my draw phase? Yes, I would. Uh, I could pop this. I could also pop this. Ah, this is gonna be a problem. Um, but not if. Aha! If this is gone, he's gonna be destroying masterpiece, which we're not gonna be doing. Um, and then this comes back, which then lets me get a pacifist search, if he lets it happen. Ooh. Um, like, please, just pop this fucking card. You have a card that I can't out. No! Why are you not popping the card? Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. So here's how we play this by eye. Um, <laughs> fucking hell. Um, is it, does he have, yeah, he definitely has two of the traps still in Graveyard, right? Yes, he does. Um, so like that's, uh, I can't, I can't fucking do this anymore, mate. I can't. <laughs> I just can't. I'm going to normal summon this card. I'm going to equip this to it, right? There's no, there's nothing that gives me protection from effects. There's nothing that does. Nothing at all. <laughs> this card is too small to even attack over this masterpiece. <laughs> look at him. Yes. Oh, look at this. Come on, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Too bad the tokens are too shitty small. Uh, it only gains 500. Uh, God damn it. Oh, shit. Alright. 
what do you expect me to do? I can't out this card with this deck. I can't out the Masterpiece. The fact that I'm still alive is boggling my mind, uh, because I should be dead. I should have been dead a long time ago, as a matter of fact. Um, oh, he's playing this card too. <laughs> well, alright then. <laughs> Shit me. Um... I literally should have been dead like two or three turns ago because this guy should have popped this card and then this card would not have been giving me t literally I've gotten like four tokens off this card thus far and those have been what's been keeping me alive this cards insane the rest of the deck sucks ass oh look here's another masterpiece that's immune to spells and traps <laughs> oh I see <laughs> as if as if the salt in the wounds wasn't already bad enough <laughs> We're going even. This is what it's like to go even further beyond, mate. Look at these motherfuckers. Any good player playing Masterpiece deck is just gonna make it immune to spells and immune to traps. And you can't even use Skill Drain as an argument because Skill Drain will get popped by the spell that they tributed and it'll just apply its effect. I can't understand why anyone thinks this deck is good in any way. I don't understand! I don't get it! I cannot believe that this is something that I've sat through here and sat through. And I don't understand how I wasn't dead two or three turns ago. He literally handed me chances by not popping pacifists. I don't understand. I'm losing my mind and losing ranking with this deck. Oh, 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 I'm never touching this deck again. Any one of you that tries to tell me that this deck is good in any way, com and in any way competitive, you are sorely mistaken. I have multiple hours of testing to prove otherwise, because I've been applying what I believe is a proper competitive mindset-oriented play into the deck, and if anybody's going to do it, and anybody is right about what its competitive capabilities are, I definitely feel like my opinion is pretty high up there in terms of what I go through on this game on a daily basis, in terms of what I play, what I try to do, and the level of quality of player that I think that I'm at. Like, oh, shit! Oh, I'm so actually, I'm literally sitting here shuddering in my chair because I can not... I cannot believe that I just had to sit here and subject myself to all of this for what amounts to literally just a couple of dollars in ad revenue. Like, it's definitely not worth it in any way, shape, or form. And I don't think that there's anything I'm going to be doing with this deck anywhere near in the near future because this deck literally sucks. It's literally garbage. I don't I don't understand how anyone can try and defend this deck because, I mean, it's cool, it's cool, I see, but it's shitty vanilla. Is anyone that's playing the deck, anyone that's playing against you is going to know that, you know, you make dry it, you pop pacifist. If you don't let them resolve pacifist, they can't play the game. If you make masterpiece with spells and traps immune on it, then you're not going to be able to play the game. They're not going to be able to out your masterpiece. You're going to sit here and you're going to sit there and you're just going to pop their monsters as they equip the equip spells and there's nothing that they're going to be able to do about it. And then you're going to be two for wanting them the entire time. Well, excuse me, not two for wanting them, two for zeroing them because the masterpiece just banishes a card from grave. That was already a resource that got used and it was never part of the equation anyway. So the masterpiece stays. So every time masterpiece pops one of your cards, it's already a plus one, but then they just wait for you to put the equip spell on. So that's a two for one, or not even two for one, like I said, two for zero. Like, oh my god, the masterpiece is just a big problem. Like, Spiral Dragon is 100 attack points too low to get over masterpiece by itself, so it still requires of quote spells and oh my god there's literally no redeeming qualities about this deck ever the paleo deck sucks the dino deck is at least a little bit better because at least it can go second and draw board wipes draw shit that it can normal summon draw all that bullshit but the paleo deck you're literally going second drawing shitty ass trap cards that you're trying to work with a gimmick of using the phantasm trap cards to trigger the paleo trap cards from grave it literally makes no sense to me why anyone thinks this deck is good so anyway enough with that nonsense i'm gonna be moving on to a different video topic for the next you know ever never gonna be revisiting this deck ever again unless i just want to get really ragey on a live stream but otherwise i bid you all good day holy shit thanks for watching like comment subscribe all that nonsense links are where they fucking are patreon support the channel if you want to see more quality content that involves me yelling at my screen apparently <sighs> Oh, thanks for your time as usual, and take care. I will see you in the next video, where I will be in a much better mood because there's literally no way I could be playing something as bad as this deck. Good day!